Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. We'll continue with our SQL accounting system training. In today's lesson, we'll go to customer module to talk about customer invoice. Let's go to SQL, go to customer module, and you can see that there are different transactions that you can do under the customer module. We have already covered the maintain customer. Now let's touch the invoice. Well, I always get the questions asking Brian, what is the difference between customer invoice and sales invoice? Remember one thing, the three module over here, the top one is called GL, customer supplier, this accounting module, where there is no item, no quantity involved. If there is item and quantity, it always back to the bottom one, meaning sales invoice you can select item and put in quantity customer invoice you can't so basically how you differentiate is if you are creating a tax invoice from sql you must go to sales invoice if you have a handwritten or pre-printed format tax invoice or you have your own POS system or cash register, you do not wish to create tax invoice from the system, then you can directly key under customer invoice. So if you key under sales invoice, no worry, the system will automatically post your transaction from sales invoice to customer invoice as a double entry or accounting entry. So same things, when you come into customer invoice, you can get all your previous customer invoice or sales invoice over here. You can use different criteria to search for the invoice. For example, invoice number, if you can remember. So if you can't remember, you can use other criteria such as um, customer name to search. Okay. Or you can same things do the field chooser, right click on any column title, field chooser, and pull out any field that you, you want. And you may pull in or hide the column that you do not want to so that's all then you just go to the new button you can create your own customer invoice the first thing of course you need to select a customer first so you just type the name of the customer so you see that company name is bold meaning that your focus is at company name so what if when you type the name nothing come out is because the focus is not at company name now it's company name too because it's bold so you just clear off what you have typed click on the tab key and you will switch to another column tap again go to code tap again go back to company name then if you cannot remember the full name then just click at the a over here so just type sec maybe any company name that have this wording in any part of it so you're able to search so it makes the searching very easy now the question over here is always I need to select an account so do I need to scroll and look for it no same thing now the focus is at code click on the tab key on your keyboard it moved to description so now you are doing an invoice normal situation you will select your sales account so you type sales if you do have multiple sales account then you need to select which sales account you want to use so that's why i always say the most important uh, part in maintain child account is make the description as layman or as understandable as possible sales is sales okay so select the sales account then just put in the amount okay the system will automatically calculate the gst for you and if it's a uh, tax inclusive just take at the tax inclusive now do take note over here this is a customer invoice when you do field chooser you are not able to select discount when you have discount you have quantity it always refer back to your sales invoice this is for you to key in the total normally okay let's say you have POS system so you may key in your customer invoice for the total sales of the day instead of individual invoice okay so it's up to your choice you can key individually also so just save it then you get your customer invoice 
and normally customer invoice will not print to your customer because it's not a full text invoice and your customer may not want to accept it so I let you have a look so it's account so it's meaningless for your customer so it's still up to you whether you want to use it or not okay so this is how you create your um, customer invoice then if you do have time do drop by at my Facebook it's facebook.com slash syntax technologies help me to like my page and you can get all the latest information regarding GST regarding um, SQL that I share out and if you want to watch previous tutorial video just go to my website it's syntax.com.my then click on the YouTube and you can get all the previous SQL tutorial video um, that's all for today I'm Brian from syntax technologies thank you